All right, everybody, it's Sean with Gallery Assessment Photography. I do a bit of droning and I decided to do something for you and also for myself, and that is to compare the Mavic Mini versus the Mavic Air 2 side by side. Now, I've got the Mavic Air 2 as my spare backup drone, and I had to go through all kinds of certifications to make sure I can fly it in Canada, but this will give you an idea of why I got it and why you may or may not want to get it other than the certifications. So here we've got the side by side you can actually see the difference if you play this at 4k just the difference in 100% video size between 2.7k on, on the Mavic Mini and the full size of 4k on the Mavic Air 2 so the Mavic Mini is quite a bit smaller on what its sensor can capture it is a smaller sensor and it only captures a 2.7k and that was flying one way now we're gonna fly back so I shot this at around 10 a.m. for some reason the Mavic Air 2 does look a bit washed out now I'm thinking that is just some default setting that I didn't change, but both are shot at default settings. The Mavic Mini definitely does look more contrasty and punchy, even though it is set to default. For these tests, I also locked both into auto exposure lock, so the exposure didn't change as you're flying. And that's one of those smart intelligent things that the drones can do is they will adjust exposure as you're flying around. Now, comparison, I think the Mavic Mini looks pretty awesome there, even though the Mavic Air 2 does have a higher resolution. But you gotta remember that all these settings, you can always adjust afterwards for color and everything else. So here, it's the exact same footage as the previous run, except here what I've done is I've taken the Mavic Mini footage and I've stretched it to fill the entire screen. Now, why did I do this? It's so that you could see the difference if you were to go 100% on the video and compare them side by side. So the Mavic Air 2 is 4K original resolution. The Mavic Mini is 2.7K, but now it's stretched to fill the screen. So it's basically like a digital zoom. It still looks pretty good. And if you're not watching on a 4K screen, you may not even spot the difference. I will export this at a very high resolution to YouTube at 4K so you can check it out. And I might even post it up on Vimeo, which I sometimes use, but it definitely looks like the Mavic Mini does look better, but that is just the colors throwing you off because it's default color settings for whatever reason were much punchier and much more contrasty. What you gotta watch out for is the level of color that's available to the Mavic Air 2 and its 4K resolution. So if you look at trees, you'll definitely spot the difference in the detail level. Now for this, I said to myself, okay, the Mavic Air 2 footage was a bit washed out. I'm going to throw it into my video editor and just slightly pump up those colors and pump up the contrast just a little bit. So let's see what that came up with. So same shot, and now the Mavic Mini actually looks washed out. I didn't do anything to the Mavic Mini. All I did is I pumped up the colors on the Mavic Air 2 footage, but all of a sudden the Mavic Mini looks washed out to me. But if you look carefully, the colors are all there and you can bring them all back. So whatever the settings were on the Mavic Air 2 on those flights, they just looked washed out. But with a little bit of tweaking and adjustments, all of a sudden it's beautifully colorful and punchy as it should be. What we got to do though is we got to check dynamic range. The Mavic Air 2 does have a larger sensor. Other than capturing 4K, it, the bigger sensor usually means that the sensor is more sensitive to the variations of colors and brightness. And we can really tell here. So if you look at the Mavic Air on the left and the Mavic Mini on the right, look at the bright grass. Here the drone is doing its very best to tell the difference between the brightest and darkest parts of the shot. And as you can see, the Mavic Air 2 is retaining a lot more detail in the overexposed grass along the right side of the picture. Now it's doing that because it has a much more effective and larger sensor, so it's able to capture more variations of tones. You can also see this here. Now the cloud pattern did change, ignore that, and then they rolled in so it's much grayer on the Mavic Air 2, but look towards the asphalt of the road below. Not only does the resolution here make a huge difference that you can tell, also the detail in the road itself. See how the road is grayer on the Mavic Air 2 versus the Mavic Mini? Again, this goes to the dynamic range. There's more detail in the colors and the tones, but also there's more detail captured in the brighter 
areas that are usually blown out. And you can really tell this one, we're gonna do this flyby here, and if you look at them stretched out to full size, look at the road with the hedges that's along the right side of the shot. See how the road there is much paler, there's a lot less detail in it? Well, the Mavic Air 2 handles those overexposed bright areas much more effectively, capturing a lot more detail. So this is pretty important. Also, the color in the mountains looks better. There's no filter, there's no adjustments. This is just default settings, just like you would fly it right out of the box. Stretch to full screen on the Mavic Mini. It still looks pretty darn okay, and if you throw in a filter, you can correct for that overexposure. So we're gonna do one more test here, and that is flying in the opposite direction towards the sun. So in this shot, the sun is gonna be up and above to the right of the shot, and you'll be able to see what happens to the sky. So here, look at the Mavic Air 2 sky and the Mavic Mini sky. That's your dynamic range that I'm talking about. You can see the clouds in the Mavic Air and the road is grayer, the original color, whereas the Mavic Mini has a much bigger difference between the brights and the darks. The brights are much more blown out. So they are like super bright, whereas they should be gray just like a road should be or concrete or cement so if you're shooting in the city you're definitely gonna have to dial down the brightness on the Mavic Mini from defaults now you could compensate for that in some cases but still again I'm gonna do one more flyby here pay attention to the road um, that's in the background there when it comes into view on the Mavic Air and the Mavic Air is of course on the top here but look at the road there do you see how it has more detail not just resolution but the fact that it is not as bright same thing with the roofs of the houses on the left side there's a lot more information being captured that's the bigger sensor so there you have it actual footage one to one compared between mavic mini mavic air 2 so then the question comes can i make the mavic mini picture look like the mavic air picture in the post-production so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to adjust the bottom picture from the mavic mini to look like the upper picture from the mavic air in post-production so i'm going to cut the brightness a bit and adjust the colors and this is what we end up with so let me know what you think about the adjustment i personally think that the mavic air does definitely have more dynamic range in its sensor which makes it that much more valuable but it is much heavier and much larger but the final decision is really up to you but looking at this picture what do you think can the mavic mini picture get adjusted properly enough here to make it even closer to the original shot by the mavic air i'm not a professional video editor i'm a photographer but from what i can see it's close and it should be pretty doable and then the question comes which one do you want and which one do you want to use i'll tell you honestly for the resolution the mavic air 2 definitely wins the 4k makes all the difference the mavic mini is a great drone it's a small drone it's small enough that you can throw it in your backpack with one battery the controller and off you go for an adventure it'll shoot 2.7k which is more than enough for instagram and any social media but it doesn't have the dynamic range and all the features plus if you want to go to a bigger drone anything bigger than a mavic mini you gotta get the proper certification licenses and all kinds of other stuff so the choice is yours but in the meantime your main choice is to to give this video a like and share it with your friends. Gallery SS signing off.